Hey guys, Tanisha Broadway here, your trusted resource for all things mortgage, loan officer with Element Mortgage, and preferred Calich FA loan officer. I am so excited to walk you through the foundational steps of buying a home. Now, before we dive into it, please like and subscribe to my channel. I'm building a community of savvy homeowners. Now, let's talk about it. So, there's this first step that's probably the most crucial, most important secret sauce of this whole thing, okay? The very first step you need to do when wanting to buy a home is contacting the lender. Me, I'm the lender. Okay, now unless you buy a house cash, you're rolling in dough and you don't need any financing at all, that's different. But if you need any type of financing at all to buy this home, the lender is the first choice, not the real estate agent. See, trust me when I tell you this, you're gonna be doing a big favor to not only the real estate agent, but to yourself. Once you connect with a lender, that is my job to give you all the information that you need to know for what you can actually qualify for before you start looking for a home. That's like pulling the cart before the horse, right? You see something, you love it, you have no idea if you can qualify for it. Listen, when you go to like these websites and you type in, well, how much is my payment gonna be on this house? And you get that payment and you're like, oh, that makes sense, I can afford that. Okay, that's just a small picture. Keep in mind that as a lender, I'm also gonna be checking things like your debt to income ratio. And although you may feel comfortable with that payment that you're able to make, that may not translate to you being able to qualify for that house. So that's why it's important for you to connect with a lender first, not the realtor. So you get to me, I'm going to pull your credit. Very important, right? I have to fully analyze that. Then once I do all my checks and balances and you're a good candidate, I'm able to issue you what we call a pre-approval letter. And that's where you can go, you can get out there, you can start shopping, you connect with your real estate agent at that point, not before that, okay? Now, if you don't have a realtor, I have my really amazing realtors that I'm connected to that I can give you a great referral for. If you're doing your own research and you're looking at real estate agents, then just do your due diligence, okay? Make sure that who you're working with has your best interest and just, is just not out there just trying to get the sale, okay? Um, that's why I love the real estate agents I work with because they're very knowledgeable and trustworthy and that's super important. Now, once you're pre-approved and you're connected to this rock star real estate agent, that's their job to now customize a portal of your wants and your needs and figure out exactly where you wanna buy and what you wanna buy. That's their job. And so they're going to start showing you properties based off of your preferences. And you're gonna go out, you're gonna look at things and you may fall in love with the first property that you see or you may not. It may take you time, but it is your real estate agent's job to help you navigate the waters of the whole house shopping situation. Now, once you find a house that you like love enough to say, I'm ready to live there, it is your agent's responsibility to write the offer for that house. That is not a lender's job, that is your agent's job to write the offer and to help negotiate that offer with the listing agent on the other side. So that's very important that you, again, you have a knowledgeable real estate agent that can help you navigate through that. Okay, now next, let's say your offer gets accepted, then we are what's called escrow next. That's what we're in, yay! And then this is a whole another set of steps that's about to happen once you get into escrow. Now, while you're in escrow, there's two processes happen on both ends, on the real estate side with the property and then on the loan side, okay? So on the loan side of things, myself, my team, your loan's gonna do a little dance through along, through processing, underwriting, you're gonna get to a place where we use the words called clear to close, which basically means you've done everything that we asked you to do in the loan. The underwriter's like, mm, stamp of approval, we're ready to go, they can go ahead and move forward. While we're doing that step, which also includes ordering the appraisal, doing all the title work, your agent is working with you on inspections. So you're gonna have to get inspections on the house. Uh, pest inspection, sometimes roof inspection, home inspection. These are things that are going to be very important for you and th they are out-of-pocket costs associated with those items. Your realtor can refer you to their resources for those inspections, but just keep in mind those fees are gonna be anywhere from like mm, 500 bucks to $1,500, somewhere around there, out-of-pocket costs that you don't get back. So remember that when it comes to the inspections when you're in contract, okay? 
the inspection stuff. Very important, remember that. Okay, now once all of the inspection stuff are done, everything looks good to you, you're ready to sign off on those things, you're okay with those things, the loan stuff is done, it's all good there. Now we, you hear that clear to close word that I mentioned, and then your loan docs go out. They go out to the title company and then we coordinate the signing for you. You sign your loan docs with either a mobile notary, myself, your real estate agent, your family, your mama and them, cousins and them. It's a celebration time at that point so everybody can be there. And then once you sign your loan docs, usually in about a day or so, depending upon when you sign, you got your keys right after that. And the process is that simple. And just like that, you got your house, y'all. It could be that easy. So remember, I'm not here just to get you a home loan. I'm here to be your trusted resource to get you on your path if you're not quite there. To help you with that second home, third home, fourth home. To help you with your mama and them cousin's friend's home. Whoever in your life needs home loan financing, needs to figure out a direction to become a homeowner, doesn't know where to go, lots of misinformation out there. I'm here on your trusted resource. Tanisha Broadway, aka The Loan Diva. All right, y'all.